Alright, we're taking a look at a AK-74 parts kit this time. So this is a 545 by 39 caliber AK-74, a Bulgarian. And this one is from Arms of America. And it, this is one of their newer ones. It's got a U.S. barrel already set up. And I'll take a closer look at that in a minute here. But we've been taking a look at some parts kits. We're going to get back into building AKs. And uh, this is a series of videos where we've been exploring some parts kits that we've gotten. And I've been opening them up on camera so people can see what various parts kits look like. And uh, we're trying to offer a variety here. And this is how it came when we got it. So it's in kind of a heavy plastic bag. And you can see there's some sub kind of sets in here, sub components. Kind of dump it all out. All right, so we've got the front trunnion, rear, the rear sight block, the gas tube, the uh, gas block here, the handguard retainer, the uh, front sight, all on a U.S. barrel. So that's pretty sweet. But you'll notice that even though the rivets and everything have been drilled out, the barrel pin isn't in yet. And that way we can pull the barrel off and we can build the rest of the rifle. And this hopefully should give us a really big head start uh, having the U.S. barrel and more importantly all the um, rivets and everything, all the pins. I keep saying rivets. All the pins are uh, set up already. And uh, that's pretty cool. So let's take a look at the rest of the kit. This is an awesome kit, in my opinion. One of my favorites. I've got lots of favorites, but this is one of them. It's a Bulgarian triangle side folder. So this one's going to fold over to the left side of the receiver. And it's that triangle skeletonized stock that eh, some people like it, some people don't. It's not their strongest stock, but eh, what are you going to do? A lot of people don't like AKs for the, the weird variety. I like the weird variety. Uh, unwrapping the various sub kits here. Very nice. Everything's matching. It looks like it's got some honest, well, I don't know if it's wear or if it's just kind of a two-tone. No, it looks like it's got some wear on it. Some, I'd say, medium to light wear, really. I'll have to take a closer look at some of the other parts. A uh, very deep plum color. Some of the others I've seen are more like chocolate. These are definitely plum, kind of rosy color. I don't know how well it's coming through. They're definitely a redder plum. That's going to look cool on there. Going to contrast with that weird looking color drip. And pretty nice recoil spring. If it's been used, it hasn't been used much dust cover. Very little use, but lots of Cosmoline. Just there though, really not on the outside too bad. It's like they sprayed everything down and maybe it just kind of got caught there. And we got this little sub kit with all the small parts and as normal this gets more and more covered in Cosmoline as we dig in. Everything else has been fairly clean actually. And I don't know if they cleaned it when they put the barrel on or how it just came like that, but this stuff is all got stuff on it, but it's not too sticky. It's just covered in a grease. Nice barrel nut or brake there. Selector. Again, very little wear, if any. Hammer and spring. Looks like it's in good shape. The uh, trigger guard. Which is nice. I guess I just got uh, used to the G kits where you had to always deal with this. It looks like most of the newer kits, the trigger guards aren't an issue anymore. And we do see that there's everything's drilled out of the uh, rear trunnion. That's awesome. That would have been a bear because that would have been an expensive one to fix if you broke it. Otherwise, all the rest of these parts uh, look fairly normal. You know, all the trigger parts we don't use. All the pins and things look good to go. It's got everything down to the uh, mag catch and the barrel and pin. So uh, we got everything in the kit. It's a cool Bulgarian side triangle side folder with a nice rosy plum handguard. That'll be an interesting kit. Let's put the kit together and see what it looks like. I don't know if I've done this in the other videos, but uh, if you don't know, you can put a parts kit together pretty much like, uh, well, pretty close to all together even without a receiver. You just take, start with your stock or your rear trunnion, depending on what you're starting with. Then take your dust cover and your spring. So your spring will go in there. 
your dust cover will come up and you'll literally be able to lock it all into place just like if it was the completed rifle. So when you start with that, just keep a little tension there and your stock or your rear trunnion will just kind of lock in. Now take your uh, carrier, put that over the spring. Now you've got a good chunk of rifle there. Now typically in a parts kit you're going to just have these loose pieces, but just sort of assemble them like you see there. Take your rear uh, sight and your gas tube, slide them over the piston, and then your, uh, depending on how your bolt's sitting in there, you can bring that all together up where the dust cover touches the back of this rear sight there. And now you've got a pretty complete backbone of the rifle just missing the receiver. So you, and this is a little cheating because I got a barrel there, but even without the barrel, you can kind of guide your uh, cleaning rod through your gas tube there. Your gas tube will fit on the end of your piston. You can just sort of hide or wrap the handguards around like that and uh, set your pistol grip back here by the stock. Put your trigger guard up in there. Your uh, safety will typically just kind of set there on the receiver or on the uh, bolt carrier. And then you just kind of set your other parts out and you've got your parts kit kind of set up as a mock-up of how that rifle is going to turn out. Anyway, that's another parts kit and uh, stay tuned for more of these. Stay tuned for subsequent videos where we put these together. Thanks for watching. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.